Is this thing over? Oh! Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host T. Welcome to TNT Gaming. So today we are continuing our journey with uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Now in our previous episode, uh, there wasn't really much going on story-wise except Arthur was meeting up with Charles uh, they robbed somebody. Yeah, they they had robbed somebody, but then he met up with Bill, and I believe her name is Miss Jones, and they robbed a bank. And so our previous episode was just full of robbing and stealing and killing. Yeah, you said not much was going on. Well, but... it, it wasn't much going on story-wise because they were doing uh, stuff that we normally would expect. Just a normal them. day. It, it, just a normal day. For them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and jump back into it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let's go. Right. Hmm. Who are we going to rob today? Right. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's not cold in the ground and you come back here, aren't you? I nearly paid oh, off. Oh, 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 This is the guy that that the uh, guy that with died. The cough. Yeah, that had the cough. He had finally he croaked. And the 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 uh, financier, he told Arthur to go Now they owe the debt. Yeah. But <sighs> see the thing is, back in the day, they they didn't write off your debts. Like it don't disappear cause you die. I I guess not. Shoot. What was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, yeah, I'm real sorry yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever Ooh. wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Oh. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, Ooh. give me that money. <sighs> oh. Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? Oh. I've got no lazy eye, no respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your bed. Ooh. Ooh! You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Ooh. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Arthur is a bad motherfucker. Woo. <laughs> Damn. And the thing is, they were packing. They looked yeah. like they were leaving. And yeah. she was like, my husband hasn't even been dead and cold in the ground. Right. And you asking for money, but where y'all even going to be there I think, for him to collect the money? I think maybe they sold their house. Yeah, so they was planning yeah. on being gone before yeah. they gave the money back. Dang, that is crazy. Arthur was like, yeah, nah, exactly. your, your husband knew what it was. Right, you were sharp with the words. Yeah, he was. You were not playing. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> His money goes up. <laughs> How you gentlemen keeping? Fine, Miss Grimshaw. And you? Just fine, sir. Nice just night, fine. Huh? I must say, y'all, all this adventure and wandering over mountain passes, being chased and running for our lives, well, sure he agrees with you. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know, I'd think you's the same age as them silly girls. Uh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Well, if I was five years younger, or oh, a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. Oh. <laughs> and that'd be the best decision I ever took. Uh, Who sweet talk? Gentlemen, a moment. I just want to say thank you to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny. Well, I guess on his soapbox. 
Blessed are the peacemakers. They shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Mm. Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adrisco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Yeah. Oh. Of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. Oh. oh. It's a trap, you shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. Man. I Dutch killed Combs' home. brother. Oh. oh. Long time ago. Ain't no forgiving that. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You oh. and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ain't no time for bullshit. You know, I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his Whoa. private army. Black then it, who knows knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? Yeah. There is wisdom this is the in the first that. time Micah's making well, sense. I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. <laughs> I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. Wow. As would I. Hey, up there, men on the ridge. See, Arthur, he's becoming more vocal the look of about the things he doesn't like want to participate in. Eyes on us. We're close. He's still doing it, though. You'll yeah. be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just. I see all those mouths we gotta feed, yeah, and I, feed. I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of <laughs> Right, exactly. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. 
Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. Oh. But it's worth trying for. Mm. Okay. It is worth believing in. Mm. Can't you see that, it's friend? Deep. I don't know. Try. All I ask. Dutch always you knows try. what to say. Yeah, yeah. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Do you think they're really going to parlay? I think it's a trap. Yeah. I mean, who gets over their brother being killed? I know. And I don't know why he killed his brother, so that's kind of an unforgivable act. But maybe they're desperate. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's He's that coming along? Just like Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Oh. oh. Which one? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us, whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Mm. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. Oh. I <laughs> liked Annabelle. Mm. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> oh, I got him. You ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Column's got a sense. Uh, handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Column's right, we can draw them all back. Uh, true. Where'd Cop? He's escaping. Shoot him. Flash. I'm surprised he. Yeah. Kill you? Exactly. Oh, not yet. He let his guard down. Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. Ah! Oh. oh. Damn. Uh, 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 oh, they're they're. Trying to turn him in and collect that bounty. Dang. Finally, put his weapons over there. Medicine, no oh, anesthetic, just pain. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, oh. tell me. 
fine gun like you. But why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. No, if not. I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. But see, we lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Ooh. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. See, you know what? Now I'm curious about the relationship that they have with Kong because he knows Arthur and he's talking to him very personally. Mm -hmm. And so it's almost like they have a closer personal history between the gangs. Right. And I'm thinking maybe they were all the same gang and they kind of split up and went their separate ways. That's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So very interesting. still doing down there it's one thing torturing a man it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland you better hurry it up i don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef mm -hmm. got him in his undies dang yeah sitting in his laundry room. Oh. 
Forster. Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late go. for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. That's... That is just such a bad idea. That's real yeah, pretty. It was terrible. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Man, he went through so much. Yeah. That was unnecessary. Like, why Why would they think there was even a chance of them squashing? Desperation. Yeah. They're probably tired of fighting, fighting them. With everybody. Yeah. yeah. After they done robbed them multiple times. I know. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. really start changing him now because he didn't want to go in the first been place. waiting for you arthur well i'm sorry to have kept you come on let's get going what's the plan right. we're meeting a couple of the grays over at the saloon they spoke to bill about a job needing security After the farce of stealing the horses for them why are we doing this because we need to stay in with them and they're paying so what kind of security they want we're about to find out now come on this seemed legit to you bill Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. So. Yeah. Uh, they think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. <laughs> they were saying that Catherine <laughs> right, Braithwaite. Exactly. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. That's yeah, right. Follow you right. right. I could have told you. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, that was Sean! He just blew his top off! Oh, fuck! Oh my god! Oh man! Oh! What is Micah's problem? Micah is falling for all these traps! Oh, it's 
sinking in? So much for the goddamn loop. We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out of it. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? Right. See that? Those cowards are running away. Looks like no. No. not all of them. Sheriff Gray. Man. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? Damn. We'll find him later. Come now, on. were they being attacked by the Greys? Or were they being attacked by the birthrights? Birthweights. I think it's the Greys. Okay, so the Greys found out what they type bird of... They feel down. Yeah, right. Sheriff Gray! You need okay. to get a hold on this yeah. town! It's going to hell! Yeah. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where? Oh, they so they discovered them. We don't know what you've been doing. Damn. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you. A hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been. Always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. Mm. Oh. You want us to come out? We'll come out. They killed Sean, bro. Oh, Damn. Bill. Guns oh, and Bill they got now. Bill. Both of you, don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Mm. Morgan? Ooh, ooh. Was I to know. Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. No. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except what? when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. That's you can not fight, true. but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Oh. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. Hey. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> Damn. I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Um, I may see what happens. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we're making of things. Yep. That poor kid. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap right here, but wow. That was so sad. Very sad. And a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Uh, too much happened. Right. And, you know, Arthur, he cannot second guess himself anymore. This entire episode, he knew something was off with both situations right. and he went into both situations almost didn't come out of the O'Driscoll boys barely camp, making it barely making it out and my thing was what was weird when Arthur made it back to camp and um, Dutch was like oh you're alive I'm thinking you didn't go looking for him right like, what is really going on? Like, were they going to leave him there? And I feel like once Arthur has time to sit down and think, he's going to realize something is not right. Him going into that town um, with the grays and him saying something is not right. Micah, every time, has a bad idea. Right, yeah. Bad, what, right. what is Micah every time? To? Every time Micah is involved in a party with Arthur, things always go exactly. away. Yeah. And 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 this time, uh, it ended with Sean getting getting his brains blown yeah. out. Yeah, and then the gray kid who was a good kid, right. 
he end up dying this episode. Right. Very sad. And yeah. I think this is going to put some things in, into perspective for Arthur because I think he liked the kid. He right. tried to help him. Yeah. Um, and now the problems that the kid had about being in love with a breath weight, he no longer has that problem because he's dead. Right, yeah. Wow. Very powerful, very unfortunate episode. Uh, it seems like now they're starting to kill the characters off. Yeah. So that the story is probably going to start really picking up right now. Yeah. And I think we're going to start seeing the consequences, or we, we are seeing the consequences yeah, of their actions. Yeah. We because this them. is the first time we've actually seen uh, one of the side characters get killed because of what they're doing, because of Dutch's plan, because they tried to play the Greys and the Braith Whites. Braith, I'll never get Braith that Whites. name. I'll never get it right. But because <laughs> they tried to play both families, now they're seeing the repercussions of that. And I think it's only going to get worse from here. And then for them to think they're so smart to where the families wouldn't know because right. they, I think... One of them, I don't know if it was the breath weights, um, the the mom, mm. she was like stuff was bad, but it's it it's was never, never that bad, that bad yeah. until they came into yeah. town. Yeah. Well, now there there is no town because they didn't kill all the law there. So, yep. uh, very interested to see how things are going to work out. Um, I feel like they're going to destroy the town and then move on like they've always done. But guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. We're going to continue our journey with Red Dead Redemption 2 in our next video. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And if you want access to our videos uh, early, just become a member of our patron. We'll see y'all later. Take care. Ta -ta. Peace.